Okay, thank you. It's nice to be here. I was diagnosed late, uh, as I said, at age 11. Prior to that, I was sick all the time. You know, the doctors kept telling me, well, you're lucky if you make it to your 16th, 18th, 21. And, you know, I like competition, so I said, well, I'll show them. So I kept pushing through and pushing through. We've been telling Ben all of his life that he's going to be able to do anything he wants, that CF is just one little part of who he is. And so um, this is just another way for us to bring that point home. Running was the best thing for me. And I remember I was coughing all the time. But for me, it was great because I was really clearing out my lungs. It's good to see somebody that is charismatic and is speaking to the public. Providing this to younger people now or parents with children with CF, it's, it's invaluable. He goes, oh, we have a lot of people in the hospital with CF. I said, well, why are they looking at me? He says, oh, they've never seen somebody as old as you. I was like, wow, this is scary, right? You can feel the energy and, and it would get you excited and amped up to go if you haven't been exercising to go out there and start start doing it. So he goes, it, you're like a major like inspiration. You have your support team, your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your doctors. I wanted to like see that cystic fibrosis like didn't affect him and he's like able to like continue to like be athletic throughout his whole life and I wanted to be able to see that I can also be athletic and that cystic fibrosis won't limit me. I believe there's no excuse, you know, for anybody because everybody with CF can do it.